going to read Nari. Big Ears to the Rescue One morning, Big Ears was woken up by a pitter-patter on his window. Oh bother, he grumbled. It's raining again. It had rained in Toyland for days and days. Big Ears got out of bed and looked out of his window. All he could see was water. Toilin was flooded. I won't be able to go out again today, moaned Big Ears. The water is too deep, even for wearing wellingtons. He felt very sad. It was so long since he had seen any of his friends. Ah well, Big Ears said to himself. It's going to be another quiet day at home for me. He got dressed and was just about to make breakfast when he heard a loud drip. Big Ears looked up and something plopped in his eye. It was a raindrop. Oh no, he cried. My roof must be leaking. Big Ears found a bucket and placed it on the floor to catch the water. He was about to make his breakfast again when he heard another drip. He spotted a puddle on the floor. Then another and another. His roof must have lots of holes which were letting in the rain. Poor Big Ears had to rush around finding as many pans and bowls as he could. He placed them all on the floor to catch the drips. I hope it stops raining soon, he said wearily, because I don't have anything else to catch the water in. Big Ears flopped into his armchair. He was very tired from rushing about so much. Suddenly, he heard a splashing and a swishing outside his window. Whatever is that? he wondered. He turned round. First he saw Sammy Sailor's head blobbing past his window, then Sally Skittles and then Noddy's. He got up to look out of the window and he saw that they were in rowing boats. Sammy Sailor and Sally Skiddle were in one boat. Behind them in another was Noddy. A rope was fastened between the two boats, keeping them together. How wonderful! laughed Big Ears, clapping his hands. A boating trip. Big Ears, we need your help, said Noddy anxiously. Some of my poor little children fell over in the rain, sobbed Sally Skittle, and they have been swept away in the flood. We need someone clever like you to help us find them, said Noddy. Well, said Big Ears, I'll go in one boat with Noddy and Sally and Sammy Sailor can go in the other boat. That way, we can look in different directions. Oh, Big Ears, you are so clever, said Noddy. But then, Big Ears remembered that he couldn't go out through his door. The water would flood inside his house and he had more than enough rain inside already. He opened the window and squeezed through. Big Ears landed in Noddy's boat with a thud. The boat rocked and the water splashed but soon he was settled. We we'll look in the dark wood for your children, Sally, he called. Don't worry, we will find them. I'm sure they'll be safe. Big Ears took command of the oars and soon he and Noddy were rowing slowly towards the dark wood. It was very dark. Water dripped through the trees. Birds screeched in the shadows. All of a sudden, there was a strange shrieking and wailing. Noddy and Big Ears jumped with fright. What's that? asked Noddy nervously. I don't know replied Big Ears, but we must be brave for the sake of Sally Skittle's children. They began to row towards the hollow where the sound was coming from. They peeped anxiously between the trees. There they saw the Skittle children splashing and playing in the water. 
Noddy and Big Ears had heard the sound of their laughter echoing through the wood. Big Ears rode up to the children and pulled them into the boat. Your mother will be pleased to see you, Big Ears told them. She has been very worried about you. Back at Todd's tool house, the rain had stopped and Sally Skiddle and Sammy the sailor were waiting. Big Ears opened his door. I think we all need a nice warm cup of cocoa. But when Big Ears went to look for a pan to warm the milk, he couldn't find one. They were all on the floor full of rainwater. I had forgotten all about my leaking roof, he sighed. Don't worry, said Sammy Sailor. I'll mend it for you. Big Ears smiled. That morning he had felt miserable. But now he was happy because his friends were here. and they were here because of the flood maybe the rain wasn't so horrible after all well don't we all have such friends who make us feel good when we are having a bad day hope you all enjoyed the story mm-hmm.